Well, Bahamians are forced to find new ways to occupy their time during the 24-hour curfew and lockdown. Charles Fisher takes a look at what some people are choosing to focus on. Time is off the essence, and with this lockdown now on, time is all most people have. What you choose to do with that time is up to you, says DJ Counselor. You could waste the time or you could invest that time. Of course, it um, gives an opportunity to spend more time with family. It uh, gives an opportunity to spend more time with God. It gives an opportunity to, to kind of, I guess, observe your life, man. A lot of things you can do with all of this time you have on your hands. And so investing in yourself is also very important. And sometimes we spend a lot of time investing in everything else except ourselves. And so um, our relationship with others is important. That's a self-evaluation I think everyone um, should be doing. And also you, you growing as a person. Time to save. That's what this lockdown has taught Manly Wilson. A lot of us live paycheck to paycheck without the ability to say, well, okay, possibly I may save for the future. I can't do this, I can't do that. When you realize that the uncertainties of life can at any time present themselves full frontal, you can't avoid it, you can't turn to the left or to the right, but that's a part of your journey. It teaches you to have a better aspect of savings. So what did I learn from this? Plan for tomorrow. For Davinia Josie, time for family. Uh, the things that I was unable to do before because I was so busy, now I have the time to do the time needed to spend with my children, my husband, um, it, it's afforded me that opportunity and so for that I'm grateful. Um, you know, the Easter season that has just passed, for me I would have been spending it in church. But because of the lockdown, it has kind of forced us as a ministry, Commonwealth Baptist Church is my church, it has forced us as a ministry to be more innovative in the way that we reach people. And so uh, it's not all bad. Leah now has the opportunity to stop and smell the roses. It was always, I have to go to work, or I'm too tired when everyone was going to work, or when everyone was out of the house. But now it's literally like everyone's together, there's more togetherness in your family. I can speak for me and a few others out there. And then there's meditating and praying, getting closer to God. That is one of the most important ones. Nikisha Roll is just missing the pleasures of life we took for granted. I found myself basically snacking a lot and eating because of boredom. And so I'm not a, a three meal eater anyway. My metabolism doesn't work that way, but I'm eating more and I'm cooking more and I don't like it. It's a negative. <laughs> I miss my takeout. I miss dining out. I miss my social connections. And for entertainer Mr. Beats, it's all fine. Just one thing is missing. I'm an outdoors person. So for number one, I've been limited in my time outdoors. I love walking, exercising, doing all that fun stuff outside. Love breathing the fresh air. Number two, uh, if you look at my physical appearance, you'll see that I have some extra stuff growing on me. Yes, and that's called hair. That's because I've had limited access to my barber. So not much access to my barber to um, basically nothing. Hope you are finding time. In this lockdown, I'm Charles Fisher.